Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Sisters in Artistry. We missed y'all. We know we have not been posting like every Friday when we started the new year right now. It's gonna go to every other Friday probably, but uh, we'll keep you posted, you guys. That's just a little update. Um, we hope you liked our last video of our little shopping haul that we did. If not, um, it'll be linked below so you could check it out, you guys. And just, hey, what's up? Yes, hey to everybody. Hey to all our new followers and subscribers. Hey. Um, so as you can see, before we get into this video, we chill. We relaxing today because we are ready to discuss with y'all why we're moving out of New York. But before we get into that, make sure you stop, you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know every time we upload a video, you guys. And if you want to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, all that good stuff is down below. Okay, you guys? So we're going to get into this video for y'all. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> y'all so as stated as you can see from the title this video is all about why we chose to move out of new york or why we're leaving new york rather after, because we haven't moved yet you see the video after over 20 living in new york for more than 25 20 years because uh she's two years younger than me i'm i don't mind saying my age i just turned 29 i'll be 27 in she'll april. be 27 in april right so both of us equally have been living here for oh, for 26 years so basically guys we made a big decision to move out of new york a lot of our family immediate family our immediate family a lot of our immediate family lives in new york but we have got the message from god that it's time for us to ship out <laughs> yeah now it's time for a it's change. funny because you know people People talk about God and you know sometimes like if you're really not a believer and you're not a real believer in God and being Christian you don't really read the word you don't really be believing and seeing when God's really working guys mm -hmm. you know and God doesn't just work at the snap of your fingers he works in his own timing you guys and mm -hmm. we have really been coming to understand that so first point blank period we got the message that we needed to move out of New York about four years ago going on four years now um, maybe like five. Maybe like five, but we're just gonna say four, four or five. Four whatever. and a half, five. Well, I, I'm gonna say about maybe about like five years, six five years ago, six five or six years ago, we decided that we don't want to be in New York anymore. Um, we decided that, you know, we wanted to venture out. I don't like traveling has always been something that we both want to do anyway so we just wanted to like you know we want to start new we want to start fresh we want to go somewhere else and then about four years ago we decided where yeah so we took our first trip to go see one of our dear dear friends in california friend mentor mentor first, first dance, dance mom, mom all of that good stuff jen jen we love you jenny we love you uh we went to california and immediately we when we stepped off the plane it hit us like something just like the holy spirit just like hit us and we were like this is it this is where we need to be this is you it you know what i'm saying and it's not because like we had we didn't have the conversation about moving with anyone just between ourselves we didn't tell nobody like mm -hmm. period like it was just a conversation that we had between ourselves that we both got in the spirit we needed to move and leave new york city and when we stepped off the plane Boom. it hit us so um ever since then we have been planning to move to New York City. Now, of course, COVID got in the way and <laughs> delayed our plans for a good, like, for real. Like, for Raise real your hand if COVID point. did that to you too. If COVID did that to you, don't be ashamed. Um, it set us back. It messed, it, COVID really set us back. We was in, we was working, I'm not gonna say where or whatever, but we was working at a job and the boss basically you know we weren't there for the money we were there to put in the work because it was what we loved doing and point point blank period, it ended up not being for and us and not being for us stuff just went downhill and so we had to leave but in leaving we didn't have any proper tea is ready tea's ready hold on, hold on. so we can sip tea <laughs> and we back anyways point blank period it messed us up we needed to leave we didn't have no 
it was a whole thing. So COVID plus all that. It wasn't beneficial for wasn't us It wasn't beneficial to be there for anymore. us anymore and it wasn't helping us. So whatever. We decided to move. Guys, it's, a, it's, it's literally we are picking up our lives and moving everything to California. And I just want to say to people who are thinking about doing this, who feel in the spirit that that is what they need to do, do not be afraid scared yo like don't be scared to make that decision like the first the first step is to finally make the decision that you're doing it second step is to actually put in motion the decision that you've made yeah so like you know it's we're we're fortunate to have each other and we're like you know because we're moving together we're both going out there but like for people who are by themselves and stuff like i can understand where that fear comes from but if you feel like you need to make that decision for your life. You gotta do what's you best for you. You just gotta do it, bro. Like, you know, and just I, go for we it. living in a day and an age where there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five, but if you want to work a nine to five, plus have your extra businesses and stuff like that, the cost of living has went up. So it don't matter, yeah. it don't matter where you live. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like you can live anywhere and the cost of living is continuing to go up. So it's beneficial for you that if you really don't want to live and be where you're at, make the decision to go and do where, where you're supposed to be at or where you're supposed to be living and serving and all that good stuff and just move and do it okay you guys point blank period words, be happy be happy right so we have made the decision to move to los angeles so we are California. super happy we that have not told me. anybody like that we're moving really i mean we've been men mentioning it to you guys on our channel but like we haven't told anybody and nobody else knows but so this is our first video our first time like really talking about it with people yeah um it's it wow like it's a little nerve-wracking like but, we've been in new york our whole lives you know what i'm saying like and we, we're very family oriented too so our family is here it's gonna be, but I have no doubt that my mom and my dad are gonna be like on a plane every I feel three months. Probably gonna end up like, like, like we we're probably moving out there. But we do have we do have family in California. You got California, you guys. Yeah. Um, our our cousin, <laughs> whether you believe it or not, but our cousin's Alan Payne. Um, if you know, you know. If, if you, you know, know, you know. You don't. We have a bunch of cousins that live in California and Vegas and stuff like that. So we have family all over, but. Our immediate family lives in New York. Yeah. And so when we announced that we were leaving, everybody's like, what? What? Y'all you know? leaving? At first, no. Nobody believed At first, nobody believed us. Nobody believed us. Everybody was like, y'all not leaving. What? No, you're not. Even our parents. Even our parents were like, y'all not leaving New York. No, you're not. Like, they but, just now started, like, really getting it. Like, oh, snap. They're leaving. Like, even when we were showing them, like, pl the places that we're looking to move to and, like, our options. Yeah. We were, like, the, uh, we went out to California um, in 2021 in springtime. And we actually went out. Um... We didn't stay long enough, but we actually went out with the intention to go look at places. And so, yeah, all I'm saying got. is our schedule <laughs> got crazy. We didn't have a chance to really do what we wanted to do, but we ended up seeing some, apart from that, once we came back, we actually finalized some places that we wanted to look at. Yo, and so, oh my God, we're moving. Yeah, it's just, it's really like, uh, like all, like all, I don't know what's it's the happening. word, like it's happening, like it's hitting us it's like it's like when you get um, like it really hit me at the end of 2021 because um just realizing that i have nothing that keeps me in new york city anymore except for my parents like but that's literally. not even a worry because our parents are so in tune with us that like being away from them is not even gonna be a a big yeah. thing like and so like being i mean not being worried that i'm even that i'm not gonna be in the same state as my parents because you know we're very family oriented we um but that was our only that worry. was the only thing and that worry went out the door like a long time ago and i was like Excuse yo me. we're moving to cali so i just want to let everybody know we moving to cali we super excited we have begun our process we are still looking for a spot and obviously um, you guys are going to get a video when of the whole thing once we actually get like whole, get out there you're going to get a whole video yo, of the whole the process, process. y'all going to see when we do the tour of the place y'all going to see when we move y'all going to see when we just finalize everything like y'all going to see everything you guys um i also wanted to just say to you guys like if you have like we have each other right you know what i'm saying and so we to each his own us as sisters are taking the initiative to change 
the trajectory of generations to come from our family so we are making big big decisions like that in the past year we've made some really big 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 decisions and we talked a yeah. lot about it and we you know find like finally you know agreeing that we need to start building generational wealth financial freedom building things to have that can be left behind for our great 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 grandchildren like yeah it's big. and i just want to say too like on that topic that you're saying you know making those decisions is not easy at all to say to yourself like okay this is what i have to do because these are huge changes like especially if you you're brought up a certain way or you grow up a certain way with a certain mindset under people who have a certain mindset to change your whole way of thinking and living yeah. and and working and it's it's a lot it's, no, it's so much and it's hard it's so hard it's, it's hard to be entrepreneurs like wait when we first decided to move to cali we started a little clothing business it was called war street wear i don't know if any of y'all remember that or saw like we dropped shirts and everything and it didn't work for us at the time because we just didn't go about it the way we wanted to we kind of rushed into it and stuff so it didn't it didn't happen you know and that's fine but you know if you let things like that if you let the small failures stop you and the small rejections stop you from yeah. moving forward in your life then you're never going to end up where you really want to be <laughs> big you're never gonna end up where you really want to be and you're never gonna have that full satisfaction that you could have in life you know and so for us we decided i think at the end of no i'm gonna even say in the beginning of 2020 we decided that we're no longer going to let anything stand in our way whether that be like for instance we said you know stuff wasn't working out at the place that we were at or whatever we just it wasn't for us anymore there were a lot of reasons why we could have stayed yeah but there was just too many reasons why we shouldn't have stayed yeah. and so because of that we had to leave you know like things like that you can't let certain things stop you and be those like deciding factors on yeah. whether or not you're going to make changes and do stuff like even us moving to california there's a lot of things that we we could sit here and be like oh well you know your your business might not work out like right, um awesome. you might you might not find a place you really like you Remember might you rent might be of. too high like you there could be a thousand and one reasons for you not to go i'm sure anybody who has self-doubt will come you ever see those people <laughs> who <laughs> who have no confidence in anything and they come up with all these reasons why something won't work or won't happen yeah. and it's like how did you come up with that yep. how did you even think of that but you can't find one reason why something will work that's what you have to do you got to find the reason why this will work the reason yep. why you're going to make these things happen and you're gonna do these things and that's what we did we did that in 2020 and now as you can see tribe complex is out it's running it's going it's making it it's she's dropping collections i'm working on building my photography business right now i'm building clientele i'm doing portfolio shoots and you know um free shoots for people and and even i have some clients here and then i'm just building and working on different stuff and every day is a challenge but mm -hmm. we're doing what we got to do so that we could be where we want to be yeah and it's making that decision to like not um, we're not building for the now we're building for, for the, the future, future for the future future us for the future generations for future family like yeah you know when you're building for the future it's more than just saying oh i just want to make a quick buck like if you're trying to build wealth like it's more than just saying oh i want to make a quick buck how can i just make a quick a quick thousand like nah like you know it takes a lot to really yeah. put that investment in and change your mindset start to operate a different way be consistent like you know and so you gotta make those small you gotta make sacrifices. those small sacrifices like right now we've for the past two years we've been sacrificing a lot and just like really changing the way we live <laughs> See, because if you oh, do it, for, do. if you change and sacrifice for the few years, you'll be able to live the rest of your life the way you want to live. 
You know, most people don't do that. So it's like you you gotta you gotta just take that, make that decision, and just take that road. And at first you're gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna be mad because you can't do what you wanna do, and da 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 da. Like you know, and you gotta put that discipline in, and not just do what you want, spend what you want. Mm -hmm. And so you know, we just we made a big decision to not just build present for the present, but to build for the future, and to build legacy, and to build for the future generations to come. Um, you know, like I said before, to each his own, like we're moving together because we're close like that. And so we have a plan to move together and to build, you know, to and to get properties together that will stay in the family line. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. can't pass down a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. but you can pass down land and property and, and businesses like you can do that. So that's what we're doing. We are right. building all that right now. And we're super super happy to say that building from the ground up on our own with nobody helping us oh, is hard as hell. Yo, oh my but god! But it is so. It's just feels there are so days. good. In the, like there are days where I don't want to. I just like dang, I can't do this. Blah blah blah. But when I wake up in the morning and I really think about yeah. what my future plans are, why I'm doing this. I, it's so satisfying like I'm super excited I'm super happy like and now everything is starting to turn into like it's like play day like I get up and I'm like oh I get to do this I get to do that and it's mm -hmm. business it's work but I'm enjoying it so much it's like having fun it's like just having fun for the day you know what I'm saying yeah. so I got it y'all gotta I'm just saying that I love about um what we what we've decided to do like I'm not knocking anybody that want to work a nine to five or what like I used to work at a daycare and I enjoyed that. I really did. I loved working with the kids, but I had to make the decision of whether or not I was going to be doing that for the next 30, 40 years of my life or if I wanted to pursue something different. And, just and in all honesty, like, I just feel like I'm, we're, both of us, we're just too much of the kind of, we're just so much the kind of people that just, it's not meant for us to work under other people because no. other people just don't. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. They just we'll don't. About I'm that. just going to say, y'all know. They just Y'all know, they just don't. And so for us, it's like being entrepreneurs and building our own businesses. Is, it's what we want to do. It's what we love to do. And it's what, what we're good at, what we're going to succeed at, and what's going to bring us the most, I feel like, satisfaction and joy yep. and happiness in life. My number one thing I just want to end for me is that you know, I'm, I'm a Christian woman. I follow God. God leads me. 2022, I'm letting God take the lead. Like, literally, Amen. I'm doing as much. I'm doing to the top of what I can do. And then I'm letting God do the rest. Like, this, there are things that we can't do. We got to put, let God do his His job. Like, you got to let God do God. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like, I'm not saying don't work hard. And I'm not saying just sit around and think that God's going to open a portal for you to step through. I'm saying do gotta your do work, work and then let God do his work and watch how that changes your life and, mm -hmm. and just stay close to him like literally listen let him guide you like oh do i need to be doing this do i need to talk to this person do i need to take this meeting like not every opportunity is the opportunity for you like i i can't mention i i've at excuse me coming out of 2021 going into 2022 i had got two big opportunities for tribe complex but they, they were not what god told me to do like literally yeah. so you got to, you know, gotta make, those decisions. Gotta make those decisions because if you're planning for certain things and God's telling you like, this is, this is the vision, this is what it is, then you can't just say yes to everything. I had the opportunity to work for a company as a photographer and they would have like flown me out to, to different places to shoot events for them and do all this stuff. And, you know, just the, I got satisfaction out of just being offered. Yeah those kinds of things because three or four years ago I didn't think I had what it took to be a photographer I didn't think I had what it took to even get an offer like that and so now to see those things start to happen it's just like it's it's paying off the work that you put in is starting to pay off and, and when you just see that when stuff like that happens it's also a it's also God telling you like j to be patient let me do me you know let God work in his time and don't try to do it on your own because we only human. You will burn yourself out and kill yourself trying to do everything. You guys, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not saying don't work hard. Work hard and stay consistent. Yes. But 
Stay consistent in being who God wants you to be and listening to what God wants you to listen to and let God do God. Like, the, I had got an opportunity to be on a show on HBO, The Hype, for the streetwear um, designers. And I was like, wow, like, this is a big opportunity. But I was like, that's not for me right now. Like, that's not where I need to be at this moment. So, you know, and, and you might feel bad, but it's like you have to really weigh what choice and decision you need to make in order to stay on the path and achieve the vision that you that the vision that god gave you you understand what i'm saying yeah. like i went i went in the bank the other day and i was talking to the banker who was helping me up with my business and he, he was, was like really nice he was nice and he was like yo like what made you want to start your company and i was like in all honesty god prompted me to start my company like i've been an artist my whole life and for a big majority of my life, I was not doing art. And I asked myself, like, why was I not doing art? Who knows? I don't know. But, you know, like, in 20, at the end of 20, coming out of 2019, going into 2020, I started, like, really getting closer to God. And, you know, I just started realizing, like, yo, I got God-given talents and I'm not doing nothing with them. Like, what am I doing? You understand what I'm saying? And then God gave me the vision to start this business. God gave me the vision to do three major things. In 2021, he told me to do three major things. And I'm doing the first thing. He told me to start a business. And the other two, I will reveal soon. But he told me to start this business. And that's what I'm doing. And I am super excited about my business, my sister's business. Like, what we doing, like I said, if you choose to make the decision to not just work for the present and just get a quick buck and choose to work for the future and to live a crazy faith lifestyle and leave a crazy faith legacy... I'm telling you, you're gonna be living the dream in a different. You're gonna be living in a different, <laughs> in a different world, like in a different bubble. People's not. You you gonna lose friends, all of that. Like, yeah, friends, they gonna family, start plucking off like they gonna start like falling petals, flower petals. But that's okay because you don't need people like that God in your life is, anyway. He's prepping you. Need, he's pruning sometimes, you. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it takes those big decisions and stuff to see what. Um, to see the bigger picture, to see what really matters. So and so, this is the we're first, moving to Cali, guys. This is the first video in the um our move to California yes. series. We we're are not going to give like a specific time yet, or like y'all will see the next video because it's going to happen. And, yeah, I'll see um, when just saying, when it's happening and what's going on. We're super excited. We just wanted to update you guys because I know we kind of been like. A little on we've been a little absent about what we're doing in our life like you know like we kind of stopped dancing and stuff like that but we just want to update y'all it is because Please. we are in the process <laughs> we are in the process of shifting our lives so yeah. and one part of that is moving to california so we're super happy to announce that we're moving to la we can't wait. We can't wait to sh wait to share the process with you. And we just want to encourage everybody. If you are feeling in your spirit that you're supposed to move from wherever you're at and make that decision and make that change, don't be scared. Whether you're single, married, have children, like if it is what you're supposed to do, do it. Don't be scared. Go for it because you're never going to know what you're going to miss. Really quick that if you listen to some of the stories that some of these top actors and actresses have a lot of them got their start with no money in their pocket no place to live homeless homeless not not a pot as my mother would say not a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of you know what i'm saying so and so we'll stop you, you. Gotta, you just gotta go for we'll these stop you. just go for it go for it guys just go for so, it so thanks y'all for showing us love we're super happy we're super excited and we Do hope all y'all stay for the journey and the experience. Right. And oh, sorry. Am I tired? Yeah, I got like three hours of sleep oh last night, <laughs> and the night before that, I got like two hours. Mm. So I haven't slept. Guys, so tribe complex is. Oh, that's what you was about to announce. <laughs> I had no clue. I had no clue. What you about to I was about to say, at the end, you know, I want to start giving, like, public announcements. Yeah. For our video. So, public announcement. What's going on with Tribe Complex? Hi, we got a new drop in February. I know it's been a little while since I dropped something new. 
um we still have like a few pieces left on the site from the last drop you guys make sure you head over if you want to get them get them while they're at on that sale but uh i have a new drop coming in february it's a limited edition hoodie go to the tribe complex instagram if you want to check it out it's dope that's all we're super say. excited guys and radiance glows photography i'm planning um a portfolio a portfolio shoot um real soon i have promotion a promotion flyer up on the instagram for radiance glows photography if anybody is in new york city you a model or you're interested in modeling it's limited spots as of right now but um dm me hit me up or go to the website and you know um send us send us a a quick message let us know you're interested and we'll get into details about that if you hit me up again it's a portfolio shoot and i'm looking for a few models so please anybody in new york city if you're interested please don't hesitate so tribe complex is dropping and radiance glow's got shoots coming up so Super I hope y'all look forward to that. I think I think maybe we should do a behind the scenes for both. That's what I was about to ask, guys. Comment, Comment down, down below, below if you guys want to see behind the scenes of Tribe Complex's shoot for the next drop. Yeah, the prep and everything. The prep and all of that. And if you would like to see behind the scenes of Radiant Skulls Photography's prep and all that good stuff for the portfolio shoot as well as the portfolio shoot because i think we should we could film that too i could i could definitely film that too okay so just drop a comment down below let us know and as always we love y'all you know stay healthy stay fresh stay clean so fresh is so clean <laughs> stay good you know give it to god love y'all peace